Our swimming pools got hit very hard across uh, all of Christchurch. The big one, Kiwi 2, uh, is gone now, doesn't exist, and uh, Centennial Pool is another one that doesn't exist anymore. Councils, I think, made a very good commitment towards uh, returning pool space for uh, the people of Christchurch, seeing it's an important part of our way of life. The council has clearly recognised that swimming pools, for all sorts of reasons, are, are the priority to, to box on with. They're almost a place of congregation for people to, to come together and enjoy and do a bit of fitness and recreation. Being fit and active in a state of recovery is really important, so these are just another sort of tool in that toolbox of recovery to get people feeling a bit better about themselves, be physically fit and, and perhaps just be a bit more psychologically switched on and active as well. Well the pools that we hope to open this season so people can use them, uh, this is the second one which is welcome. It's one of those that we haven't completely rebuilt. We've, uh, taking the opportunity to fix it and refurbish it and I think we've sort of moved a 1960s product up into the 21st century. At Waltham um, the improvement there has been all the pool plant systems, um, adding, adding the ability to warm the water at Waltham Pool which is fantastic, just takes it the edge off an easterly on a sunny day there and, um, and improving just how it flows, how it works, some of the architectural components. So it's been a real chance to, to not only um, pop, the, pop the pool back but improve some of the facilities and the surrounds as well. Pool open, there was a queue at the door, it was a 32 degree day and it just continues to be thriving day to day even in the rain, yeah it's outstanding. The Scarborough Paddling Pool seems to have a, a very local iconic feel about it, there's certainly a really strong community commitment to get that uh, facility reopened. We spent a lot of time talking to the community and how to rebuild what they wanted to rebuild in that site and they came up with a combination splash pad and paddling pool. It's built principally on the old site, uh, we've shifted it slightly different configuration and then we've added a few uh, toys, a water squirter, uh, which they seem to have great times and then the rainbows in there. I've seen it a couple of times since we've opened and you wouldn't have been able to fit another kid in really. And we've also got Horsel open for the first time in a kind of temporary fashion but well, they open up a new library and community centre at the same time. We've been able to isolate the area so that we can alongside it build the new community library, community centre, uh, cafe and all those kind of facilities so really looking forward to uh, that opening middle of next summer next year but in the meantime we'll have the halls with pool available for people over the whole of that summer period. It was a very nice attitude that the people of Littleton had, that they didn't want anything fancy, they just wanted what was theirs back. Um, and I think it's quite intuitive because the location that we're in is the special part of this pool. Um, making lots of bells and whistles probably isn't very appropriate when you've got a view like this. It's more of a rearrangement as the improvement, I, I, I guess. That and, and the obvious kind of upgrade to the, to the pool itself. It's a, it's a relatively new to New Zealand kind of product. It's, a, it's an American company who, who built their pools out of stainless steel. It's also got a, um, a soft um, floor to the pool. So it's very nice to walk on as well. So it's just, you know, extra little bit of improvements to increase the kind of luxurious feel of it. When you get a chance to spend time um, seeing the community, enjoy the facility which you've spent years working on and years building, it's absolutely fantastic. It makes it worth it and it's what it's all about, the kids playing and having a great time during the summer. Having new facilities I think will just give people a bit more breathing space within the facilities and then having facilities everywhere means that people can actually go pretty close to home, actually go to their local pool and not have to travel kilometres and kilometres to get to where they need to get to. Lifeguards has been the interesting one. Obviously, having two, three pools open previously, now we're opening up five. Obviously, the numbers need to stack up with the ratios. Um, interesting times, but we've managed it. We've done well. Obviously, the guys have got a very important and a very 
interesting job to do. They're safety wise, you know, they have to look after people, but they have to make sure people enjoy themselves, they clean, as well as customer service staff. They have to be first aiders, and sometimes they have to be a bit of the old police as well to say, no, <laughs> enough's enough. <laughs> Summer Pool is really are the start of what's going to be a year of success, a year of opening community centres, rebuilding community centres, voluntary libraries, uh, new toilet blocks on Banks Peninsula and Christchurch sports pavilions being reopened. So this year is the year that we're really going to start hitting our straps and, and getting out of the planning and investigation phase and getting things built and fixed and reopened. And, I, and I've seen from the work I've been doing just how happy um, the people at Christchurch are with, with reopening some of these facilities. It's fantastic. Thank you.